we're going to just focus on making the box uh, down the line in the future. But you know, nothing we can do about the game. Um, you know, we still won at the end of the day, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, but it's like, I just feel like that's kind of minimal. It just, that's minimal what I had to do, I feel like. Look what you did under to Athens uh, last night to watch, you know, Ohio and San Diego's like, Talk about your relationship with him and why, why you went to go watch him. Uh, that's my guy. If you talk to anyone around the Woody, uh, they have super high regards for Sam. Uh, we love him to death, so. This is probably one of my only opportunities to go get to see him play. Uh, obviously, he balled out, so super happy for him um, and everything he's doing over there in Athens. Okay, Ryan's talked, to, yeah. uh, Ryan's talked a lot about having competitive stamina a lot this season. You know, with the CFP rankings coming out for the first time yesterday, there's a big game at the end of November, too. Um, how do you guys kind of maybe keep the focus week to week on you know maintaining it on, the, on your opponent on Saturday while maybe preparing for the game at the end of this month, too? Yeah. Um, every year we really have three goals, and the first goal is to beat the team up north. And, you know, we haven't accomplished that yet. We lost to them last year, so that's always in the back of our minds. Um, and we're always preparing for that game um, on a, you know, uh, everyday basis. So um, we're always focused on that game, and uh, we're, we're ready to play. Uh, Michael, you've had a lot of production this year, but differently, you know, how do you stay confident? Yeah, I mean, you don't never know when opportunities are going to come. There may be a game where you have zero catches, zero targets. There may be a game where you have 15 catches on 15 targets. So you never really know when your opportunity is going to come. And you never know when one is going to be taken away. So just taking every opportunity that you get um, and treating it like it's the most valuable rep that you have um, is really the mindset. So um, being able to stay locked in for four quarters, even if it's not your best game in the world, is something new. Greg, get back to the judge machine. What does the judge machine do for you? Most of all, just reinforce, uh, catch it with your hands, your fingertips. I mean, what, 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 what do you get out of it? Yeah, it's, it's all that good stuff, all the you know football training. But uh, for me, it's kind of just like I just love football and I love catching on the judge. Sometimes I do it just to clear my mind. Um, and obviously, it's getting you better at the same time. So um, kind of just going there and kind of just getting away from everything. Um, really focusing and working on craft at the same time. Kind of like, kind of like almost playing pitch and catch with a buddy or something. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that, that's the, just the best thing. Yeah. So, you guys, two sides, where did you see the resolve that it come from that caused that fourth quarter? You know, y'all were trading. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, I mean did, where, where does that come from? It, did, do you come out of that game even more enforced about what kind of team this is? Yeah, that's a testament to everything Coach Mink has put us through this offseason. Um, especially with the way last season went. Kind of left a bad taste in our mouth, and we really got after it in the weight room and on the field and summer training, um, all that stuff. So we had a really big emphasis on, on being tough. Um, you know, there, there's kind of that stigma around Ohio State being uh, a talented group. We never hear about it, our toughness, so that was a big focal point for us. And also just finishing games in the fourth quarter. Uh, when it gets down to the wire, um, the team who has the most stamina and, and can stay locked in the longest is going to come out with a new. So this week, what, what is the focus I mean, for this team going into this game? Y'all are you know, prohibited favorites. You know, this is a team that hasn't, as a player might say, that hasn't won a game on the ground and soil yet this year. Y'all are going against. Yeah. I mean, what's, the, what's the focus, I guess, for you? What's the, I would think, just from obviously you want to win the game. But what keeps you locked in, I guess, you know, the game like last week? The focus is never really on the opponent. The focus is always on us. Um, we're as good as we're going to be, and we're as good as you know our last guy. So we hold ourselves to a very high standard, and um, you know it's all about just playing our, our type of our type of football. Um, and at the end of the day, if we do that, we feel like we're going to come out on top um, at 99.9% .9 of the time.